I wonder, is this the last quarter they won't have to, uh, they, th that they'll have that sort of pandemic boost? And the big question is, what happens in the next quarter? Yeah, this is definitely um, maybe, I don't know if it's the last golden quarter, but they're going to start comping last year's insane growth um, starting Q2. Uh, and so that that's going to get a lot harder. But interesting, a very fine line item in uh, this report, they mentioned that Prime Day is going to be pulled into Q2 this year. And so, uh, you know, that's an interesting data point that I, I kind of feel like Amazon is able to use Prime Day like a pawn. Um, they're able to pull forward a demand into quarter two to help them with those comps to, to last year, similar to what they did last That's last interesting. Year. Yeah. That's interesting, moving Prime Day to uh, the last week of June. Do you think they need Prime Day to meet those numbers? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Because they, you know, during the pandemic last year, they're, they're looking at comps year over year. And the only way that they're going to be able to drive that much demand um, is to move that event like they did last year for uh, Q4. The Prime Day is usually in the middle of the summer. You know, it's usually a dead month. So that's why they kind of created the event in the first place to commemorate 20 years of Amazon. Last year, if you remember, they, they moved Prime Day from July to October as a way to move forward demand into the quarter. So they kind of, that's what I'm saying, they're, they're kind of using Prime Day to drive this demand generation for them, which is pretty impressive. Could advertising pick up some of that slack? Because Amazon has been getting an increasing share of the retail ad pie, despite Google's best efforts. And I wonder if that's part of a longer term solution. Well, interesting that you mentioned advertising, because let's talk about that for one second. This quarter, the advertising growth was 73%, their biggest quarter yet our data showed a 60% year over year increase. So that to me means that a ton of new advertisers came into uh, advertising on Amazon, which is, which is tremendous. Uh, and to your point, you know, Amazon advertising business is increasing. We just took a 10% share of the digital market while we see Google kind of declining. And with Prime Day, you know, we saw this last year for October as well, People come in and advertise for Prime Day, advertising revenue increases. So that advertising revenue will also increase along with Prime Day too. Meantime, later this year, we're expecting Andy Jassy to take over as CEO of Amazon as Jeff Bezos moves firmly into the chair role. You know, this as Amazon is doing increasingly uh, unexpected things, designing its own chips, um, launching a hair salon in the UK. What do you think is the next generation of Amazon? I mean, it's, it's almost as if there's nothing the company won't try to do. I mean, they are a, a great juggernaut of test and learn. They're getting into everything. The, the hair salon is really interesting. I actually launched the beauty category on Amazon. And I don't think that has anything to do with actual hair salons. I think that has way more to do with getting into distribution of professional hair brands, which in that industry you have to have a physical salon to be able to do. And that's always been a challenge for Amazon. They're also building out technology so that you can see the, the hair color or the cut. Um, that would be amazing technology that, that other salons can license. So they, they definitely have a lot of opportunity to continue to grow. So we'll see what that is.